What's going on, you guys? Your boy Ben Mahari here, representing Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Much love to the entire LDBC and the political community in this community. In this case, though, guys, um, this is just a pure entertaining video for me. To, you know, just having a little bit of fun with this because I, I don't care about this election at all. I don't, don't. I'm not no you know, heavy interest in that, but, you know, it's been pretty much entertaining to, to, you know, to watch the election, you know, from the entire period up to this point, you guys, and, uh, you know, I just wish that the election was today and not on my birthday, so, you know, but it is what it is, but right now, as this moment, you guys, um, you know, Donald Trump is on the verge of losing this election, you, election, and you ask me, well, what am I talking about? Here's the thing, though, guys, um, today, uh, Joe Biden is now at 264 electoral votes as he took uh, Arizona, uh, Wisconsin, and Michigan, three key states that Donald Trump won in 2016. And as of this moment right now at 617 uh, Central Standard Time, um, he's right. Uh, Joe Biden is leading uh, Nevada with 49% of the vote compared to Donald Trump's 48.7% of the vote, with 75% of the vote already been reported uh, in as of right now. So at this moment, you guys, um, you know, Biden is only six points away. If he takes if he takes uh, Nevada uh, by the end of tonight, it's pretty much over, okay? It's pretty much over, and that's a wrap. And it doesn't even matter, you know, the uh, results of Pennsylvania, and uh, North Carolina and Georgia, in which he's, in which Trump is leading in those states right now, because it's, it's, a, it's all, the only thing that matters is, is if you get to seven, uh, to get to two hundred and seventy electoral votes, who gets there first wins the election. And before, when that, when I basically you've been talking about some about the election, one of the things that we that I talked about is that he had to flip, you know, several key states and. Michigan and Wisconsin were among those key states that he had that Biden had to flip, and today uh, Biden managed to do that. And so, you know, coming in last night, you know, I was just thinking like, you know, eh, but, you know, Trump was going to win because he basically took Florida and Texas, you know, two of those states that I had a strong feeling he was going to take, you know, anyway. But it, right now, at this moment, it may not be enough to take to take the election. So. You know, it's just been pure entertainment for me because, you know, I don't really care about either of these guys because they're both old geezers. They're both racist. One's an open racist. The one is an undercover racist. So, you know, it's just been pure entertainment for me. And, and also salute to Quest X and Too Raw for TV. You know, their, their political videos are awesome. But when they get into their comedy side of things, when it comes into their political videos, it is really much hilarious. And, you know, there's, there's still a good section of America that still – will support racism no matter what. They don't care about, you know, COVID-19. They don't care about Black Lives Matter. They don't care about all the other issues because at the end of the day, it's all about race with these, with this at the at the bottom line is with it, you know? Like I said, I had no intentions of voting for either of these guys in the first place, and I'm glad I held on to my stance. And trust me, my brother, he basically tried to tell me like, oh, you shouldn't say anything if you didn't have to vote. I don't want to hear it, all right? I'm not voting for either of these racist, you know, idiots. All right. And I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I stuck on to my stance because at the end of the day, they were both, they both were no good. So it's only, only a matter of time right now before, you know, Biden, you know, wins uh, Nevada, depending on the things that will change at this particular point. But right now he's still holding on to that lead with about 75% of the vote, you know, reported in and, if he gets Nevada by the end of the night, it's pretty much over. And but I get the sense, but you know, everybody gets the sense that this this whole this war is not over yet. Because you could tell that Trump is going to try to dispute the votes in Wisconsin and Michigan and in Nevada and in Arizona. And this is gonna be a, a war that Donald Trump is gonna try to fight to the bitter end. And you know that the Republicans are not gonna let this let this die lying down. And it's going to come down to that they're just going to have to accept the results or they're going to or, or basically Trump is going to be have to be forced out of the White House because he's made statements in the past that he's saying that, oh, I'm going to stay in the White House. No one's going to ever kick me out or throw me out. Really? <laughs> How about the military and the Secret Service that pretty much can say, uh-uh, you're going to get out of there or we're going to put you in handcuffs. And trust me, 
The only reason why he's saying this right now is because Trump knows that he's got pending charges in, New in upstate New York right now that he's going to have to be answering to. And he's scared shitless, knowing that if, knowing that if, when he loses the presidency, he's going to have to answer to all those subpoenas by the IRS and by, by upstate and all those charges of upstate New York. And I don't believe that there's going to be any other countries that are going to accept an asylum to protect this, to protect the dude. So, but that's just pretty much my two cents. It's been pretty much, you know, fun and entertaining to see all this, you know, transpire and watching both sides, you know, fight against each other because I have no, you know, I have no uh, sites of uh, interest of who's the winner and all this because at the end of the day, they're both pretty much trash candidates to begin with. So, you know, it's been pretty much fun and entertaining to just see to see this all this transpire. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section.